Chris Clare has been patiently waiting uh, <laughs> to talk with us. He is the board of directors from the Access Soup Kitchen. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, gentlemen. So we're here to talk about the 28th annual Thanksgiving Walk of Awareness. Um, uh, first off, give us uh, give us the details on the event, and then we can talk about the uh, Men's Shelter and Access Soup Kitchen as well. Sure. Uh, the event is uh, Thanksgiving morning. It starts at 8 a.m. at the uh, First United Methodist Church on Washington Street. Um, come a little early. Um, we'll have uh, for T-shirts. Those who registered early and asked for T-shirts can come and get their T-shirts the night before um, at the church or at the house next to the church, uh, or pick them up the day of the race. We'll step off at eight. Uh, we'll use sidewalks mm -hmm. to uh, walk up to the Capitol. Basically, from there we'll go down. We'll walk along Main Street. Go up to the Capitol along Capitol Avenue, turn around, come back down, and it concludes at Access uh, on West Second Street. Nice, and, yeah. then, and so um, I believe it says that this is the largest fundraiser. It is of our the largest year, fundraiser of the year. Yep. Yeah. Um, if we're lucky, we'll raise between ten and twenty thousand dollars. Oh wow! Um, which sounds like a lot until you consider that uh, mm -hmm. it costs about twenty-five thousand dollars a month. To keep wow. access open, yeah. Uh, so it, it's our largest single fundraiser, but we are very fortunate to have wonderful donors who give throughout the year. We could always use more, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's a it's a good time. It's a I've done it. We've done it almost every year since we moved here. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great way to start the day. You can pre walk off your Thanksgiving. <laughs> Uh, get, meal. Get, yeah, get the steps yeah, in early. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You don't have to worry about it later. You can just take a nap. <laughs> yeah, make some room as they say. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> um well so so tell us about the 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 access soup kitchen and men's shelter just uh, as a as an organization at large. Sure. It um I brought some numbers with me. Yeah. Um thus far in uh twenty twenty three we've served eighteen thousand six hundred meals. So by the end of the year we will have served close to 25,000 meals. Um, and, and that's, you know, seven days a week, uh, 365 days a year. If you're hungry, um, you can come down and at least get one nutritious mm. uh, hot meal. Um, and while you're there, you can take advantage of, you know, we have staff there, maybe who can answer some questions for you if you're trying to access benefits or um, if you're looking for a place to sleep, if we have room. We have 16 beds, so combined with the with the Simon House, who also have 16 beds, like that's, we're men only. Uh, we are, uh, we, we are, Simon House is what they call a low barrier shelter, so they'll take, you know, anybody that, that comes in that seems like they're safe not you know a threat mm -hmm. to anybody uh, we don't we take people because a lot of our residents are you know recovering from substance abuse we try to limit that so we do screen a little bit uh, based on that but uh, and obviously it's just for men access um, and we have uh, roughly you know in any given month that about 25 to 30 people, different people staying there. The goal is you come in, you stay at the shelter, you access, you know, hopefully a housing voucher and a, and a job, which will help you find. Mm. Um, currently, I will say with respect to the housing vouchers, last I checked, everyone who's at the shelter right now has a housing voucher, which is great. There is no place for them to rent in Frankfurt because the, the number of units, rental units that will take access or that will take housing vouchers. And this is federal money. This is Section 8 uh, money comes from HUD, it gets passed through Kentucky Housing uh, directly to the landlords. It's guaranteed, you know, source of income. Um, but certain landlords have different uh, criteria. You know, it's hard if you've got an, uh, an eviction on your in your past. It's hard if you've got a, a conviction in your past or a bankruptcy or anything that could affect, you know, your credit. So there's a lack of affordable 
housing and a lack of housing right now in Franklin County and Frankfurt, uh, people who, you know, landlords who will take that voucher. So that's a hurdle we're trying to overcome. Um, we have, uh, you know, since May, uh, we've had 21 veterans staying at the shelter. Uh, also since uh, May, we've uh, had, well, actually that's uh, all, so, oh, so far this year, 25 of our residents have moved from the shelter that we know of into permanent housing, which is good. Yeah. And um, we have a little pickup truck that we use uh, and uh, we go to God's Pantry in Lexington and, and thus far we have shared uh, 1,400 pounds of food that we've picked up with other agencies. So uh, our staff down there, they do a lot. Brian Pedigo is our, our operations director. He's amazing. Uh, we've been fortunate to have uh, wonderful directors in the past. Uh, you know, uh, Adele Kemper st uh, stepped up and was the, was the interim director for a while. It's, it's a lot of work, and you have to have a heart to do it, and you have to love it. Mm -hmm. And at, fortunately, all of our staff down there, they have that heart mm -hmm. to serve those people. Uh, is there, so if folks, uh, we'll, we'll mention the, um, the walk of awareness again before you leave. We'll get all the details again. Uh, but if there's, if folks are unable to attend, um, is there any kind of things that they can do if folks want to donate? Yeah, or, I should mention yeah. that uh, if you want to register for the walk, it's not too late. Oh, it's okay. $25 to register. You can go to our website, accesssoupkitchen.com, mm -hmm. uh, or you can go to our Facebook page, which is just access. If you search Access Soup Kitchen, you'll yeah. find it. And if they're watching on at Facebook. home right now, they might be able to hit this, uh, this QR code. Yes, too, you can register. scan the QR yeah. code, which will allow you to register for the walk. Um, and if you don't want to do the walk, if you just want to donate, you can go to our website. There's a donate button. Um, we take checks if you want to drop them off uh, at the shelter. Um, if you have money that you want to give, we will find a way to take it <laughs> yeah. and um, put it to use and, immediately. Right, yeah. And, and maybe maybe the website says this or Facebook, um, uh, particular items that folks could bring, uh, canned foods or... Yeah. Uh, the best, best thing to do is uh, watch our Facebook page. We yeah. will put out calls for mm -hmm. different, different food items we need. Mm -hmm. um, if you have some items that you think we might be able to use, canned goods... Um, clothing men's clothing uh or even you know even women's clothing sometimes that you know we have men come in but they have families and um coats this is the time of year when coats yeah. and and sweaters and that sort of thing we have a place for that um i should mention too that occasionally we'll we'll bag up food items and uh, people can take them with you know if they come for lunch that we serve them mm -hmm. lunch but if they want to take some canned food, you know, or we have extra items of this or that, um, they're welcome to take those and, and personal items and so forth. You know, sometimes uh, we have extras of those on hand. Yeah. It's an amazing resource here in town. When I moved to, uh, to Frankfurt, noticed it right away, just being front and center right there on 2nd Street. But what struck me was the just the dependability of it, I think, just day in and day out. You know the, the the amount of people that the center was taking care of, and, and it was so obvious. So, uh, I think it's good for us to remember that that, like you said, this is the biggest uh, single fundraiser. But there's a lot of room to try to close that gap of, of what you all are actually doing. Uh, and so, um, let's go through the let's go through the times again. Make sure everybody has this. Yeah, yeah. So, walk awareness is, right starts uh, at eight a.m. Yep. Uh, I mean, it leaves at eight a.m. So, if you want to do it show up a little early okay um you know how long does that walk take 45 minutes or so to go up okay. around the capitol yeah. and come back down mm -hmm. so it's not your whole morning uh but it's nice to spend that day um with your neighbors and in support of maybe some people who aren't going to have as much as you are mm -hmm. on your table at the end of the day so yeah. and i should say it's not just homeless people uh who come to access it's yeah. there a lot of people from the community around there uh, you know, or around town, come down. They may live alone. They don't like to cook. You know, and so they come and have they come and have lunch with us. Um, it is a community. Yeah, I think, I, like you said, around this time, it's it's really important to, to as a reminder to you know to, to help out folks who are who are in need. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a perfect way to do so. Uh, Chris, thanks for thanks so much for 
being here on the show with thank us. you guys thank you for giving us the time uh, absolutely do you, do you feel like answering our, our question of the day yeah, about you got uh, any st- oh about the got sandwich any, yeah, yeah uh, uh, i got the sandwich so we're not doing turkey this year we're doing a ham okay uh, uh-huh. all right we're gonna put a little uh, bourbon glaze on there nice uh so they'll Definitely be a ham sandwich involved, probably with mm-hmm. some brown mustard. Uh, okay. My brother lives in Cleveland. He's turned me on to something called stadium mustard, okay. uh, which is Darn. like a brown spicy mustard that they oh. serve. They used to serve at the old Cleveland Municipal Stadium. Interesting. Um, so that'll go on there, probably a little mayo. I'll yeah. try to get some veggies on there. Um, and as for how long, you know, it's just a smell test, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Is this okay? Probably like, yes, it is. Sir. All we'll right. find out. <laughs> uh, Chris, thanks again so much for, for being here again. The the Walk of Awareness is going on uh, Thursday, a fundraiser for the Access Soup Kitchen. They walk off at 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. Thanks again for being here. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't want to do that walk, lots of opportunities to help. Yes. Uh, yeah. so Volunteers, <laughs> donate. Yeah, absolutely. Please yes. check it out. Uh, thanks. Thanks for being here, Chris. I hope to see you again soon. Yes. All thank right. You.